Good day, friend. Albert Camus, a famous philosopher, an existentialist writer, and an author of many books and novels, essays. So previously, I had discussed with you about one of his novel, The Plague. Now today I am going to discuss with you one of its another novel, The Stranger by Albert Camus. So the story of this novel start, uh, Muir Salt, the protagonist of this novel is, the narrator or the, the protagonist is a young man living in Algiers. After receiving a telegram informing him of his death, mother's death, he takes a bus to Ma Maringo, where his mother had been living in an old person's home. He slept for almost the entire trip. When he arrives, he speaks to the director of the home. The director allows Muir Salt to see his mother, but Muir Salt finds that her body has already been sealed in the coffin. He declines the caretaker's offer to open the coffin. That night, Muir Sol keeps vigil over his mother's uh, body. Much of his displeasure, the talkative caretaker stays with him the whole time. Muir Salt smokes a cigarette, drinks coffee and dozes off. The next morning, before the funeral, he meets with the director again. The director informs him that Thomas Paris, an old man who had grown very close to Muir Salt mother, will be attending the funeral service. The funeral procession heads for the small local village, but Paris has difficulty keeping up and eventually faints uh, from the heat. Muir Salt reports that the remember he remembers little of the funeral that night he happily arrives back in algiers the next day mir soul goes to the public beach for a swim there he runs into uh, maria carduna his former co-worker the two make a date to see a comedy at the movie theater that evening after the movie, they spent the night together. When Muir Sol wakes up, Maria is gone. He stays in bed until noon and then sits on the balcony until evening, watching the people pass on the streets. The following day, Monday, Muir Sol returns to work. He has lunch with his friend Emmanuel and then works all afternoon. While walking upstairs to his apartment that night, Muir Salt runs into the Salamano, an old man who lives in his building and owns a big dog. Ma Muir Salt also runs into his neighbor, Ramon Sintis, who is widely rumored to be a pimp. Ramon invites Muir Salt over for dinner, over the meal, Raymond recounts how he beat up his mistress after he discovered that she has been cheating on him. As a result, he got into a fight with her brother. Raymond now wants to torment his mistress even more. But he needs Muir Sol to write a letter to lure his mistress back to him. Muir Salt agrees and writes the letter that night. The following Saturday, Maria visits Muir Salt at his apartment. She asks Muir Salt if he loves her and he replies that it didn't mean anything. But probably not. The two then hear shouting coming from Raymond's apartment. They go out into the hall and watch as a policeman arrive. The policeman slaps Raymond and says that he will be summoned to the police station for beating up his mistress. Later, Raymond asks Muir Sol to testify on his behalf. And Muir Salt agrees. That night, Ramon runs into Salamano, who laments that his dog has ran away. 
Maria asks Mirsolt if he wants to marry her. He replies indifferently, but says that he can get married if she wants to. So they become engaged the following Sunday. Mursault, Maria and Ramon go to a beach house owned by a mason, one of the Ramon's friends. They swim happily in the ocean and then have lunch. That afternoon, mason, Ramon and Mursault run into two Arabs on the beach, one of whom is the brother Ramon's mistress. A fight breaks out and Ramon is stabbed. After tending to his wounds, Ramon returned to the beach with mere salt. They find the Arabs at a spring. Ramon considers sh shooting them with his gun, but Mur Salt takes him out of it and takes the gun away. Later, however, Mur Salt returns to the uh, spring to cool off, and for no apparent reason, he shouts Ramon's mistress brother. Mur Salt is arrested and thrown into jail. His lawyer seemed disgusted at Mur Salt's lake of rumors over his crime and in particular at Mur Salt's lake of grief at his mother's funeral. Later, Mur Salt meets with the examining magistrate who cannot understand Mur Salt's action. The magistrate brandishes a crucifix and demands that Mur Salt put his faith in God. Mur Salt refuses, insisting that he does not believe in God. The magistrate cannot accept Mur Salt's lake of belief and eventually dubs him Monsieur Antichrist. One day, Maria visits Mursault in prison. She forces herself to smile during the visit, and she expresses hope that Mursault will be acquitted, that they will get married. As he awaits his trial, Mursault slowly adapts to prison life. As such isolation from nature, woman, and cigarette torments him at first, but he eventually adjusts to living without them and soon does not even notice their absence. He managed to keep his mind occupied and he sleeps for the most of each day. Mursault is taken to the courthouse early on the morning of his trial. Spectator and the members of the press fails the courtroom. The subject of the trial quickly shifts away from the murder to a general discussion of Mursault's character and of his reaction to his mother's death in particular. The director and several other people who attended the vigil and funeral are called to testify and they all attest to Mursault's lake of grief or tears. Maria reluctantly testified that the day after his mother's funeral, she and Mursol went on a date and saw a comedic movie. During his summation the following day, the prosecutor calls Mursol a monster and says that his lake of moral feeling threatens all of society. Mursol is found guilty and is sentenced to death by beheading. Mursol returned to prison to aid his execution. He struggles to come to terms with his situation, and he has trouble accepting the certainty and inevitability of his fate. He imagines the certainty. He imagines escaping, and he dreams of filing a successful legal appeal. One day, the chaplain visit to uh, against uh, Mirsol's wishes. He urged Mirsol to renounce his atheism and turn to God. But Mirsol refuses. Like the magistrate, the chaplain cannot believe that Mirsol does not long for faith. And the afterlife, Mirsol suddenly becomes enraged, grabs the chaplain and begins shouting at him. He declares that he is correct in believing in meaningless, purely physical world. For the first time, Mursol truly embraced the idea that human existence holds no greater meaning. He abandons all hope for the future and accept the gentile, gentle indifference of the world. This acceptance makes Mursol feel happy. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the story of The Stranger by Albert Camus. The, 
the theme which involved in this novel is the irrationality of the universe. Since Albert Camus is, a, is an existentialist philosopher and he believes in the absurdity of the life, Through the Stranger is a work of fiction. It contains a strong resonance of Camus' philosophical notion of absurdity is in essays. Camus asserts that individual lives and human existence in general have no rational meaning or order. However, because people have difficulty accepting this notion, they can constantly attempt to identify or create rational structure and meaning in their life. The term absurdity describes humanity's futile attempt to find rational order where none exists. So this another uh, theme of this novel is the meaninglessness of human life. The second major uh, component of Camus' uh, absurdity philosophy is the idea that human life has no redeeming meaning or purpose. Camus urges that only certain thing in life is the inevitability of death. And because all human will eventually meet death, all lives are equally meaningless. Mursault gradually moves towards this realization throughout the novel. So, the importance of the physical world. The stranger shows Mursault to be interested far more in the physical aspect of the world around there, him than in the social or emotional aspect. This focus on the sensate, sensate world results from the novel's assertion that there exists no higher meaning or order to human life. Throughout the stranger, Mursault's attention centers on his own body, on his physical relationship with Maria, on the weather, on other physical elements of surrounding. For example, the heat during the funeral procession causes Mursal far more pain than the thought of burying his mother. The sun on the beach torment Mursal, and during his trial, Mursal even identifies his suffering under the sun as the reason he killed the Arab. The style of Mursal narration also reflect, reflects his interest in the physical. Though he offers ter offer ter's plain description when glowing. This is the, ladies and gentlemen, um, Albert Camus, The Stranger, a marvelous uh, book, a marvelous story, which shows clearly that uh, through his hero, Muir Salt, that life is meaningless and absurd. Thank you very much.